It's the mat work. Since singing would be like more like a could be, I was thinking it could be more like a YouTube thing, and then for Instagram, I could do more of like the Beats by J Black kind of thing, um, where I'm like, uh, like making like uh, beats from like vinyl samples or. Um, you know, things that demand like a push pad, you know, or you could do finger drumming and that sort of thing. And mm. I was wondering, like, if if I can crank out like a lot of content for, you know, both stuff, would that be something that would be like worthwhile doing? Or would it be too much of like a, uh, going against like that one particular thing that you're doing? Because um, I'm thinking like, you know, both audiences are pretty different from each other. But um, yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts? on the on the matter the first thing is singing covers you said uh so since i'm really going into like singing like a lot i want to do singing covers just as like a way to like you know hone like hone up like my like my skills in singing and then after that is when i'd be making like my own singing songs like you know me writing it me making the beat like that and then the other thing is the beats by jay black style thing yeah okay and then from that, I could also do like, uh, like music production tutorials when, you know, I, know I have a little more know-how after doing that. Nah, bro. Like, fuck the music production tutorials. Like, <laughs> this is like, you keep trying to learn this other thing to get this other thing and it's over strategizing. You gotta just get good and kill it at this one thing and get known for this one thing. Yeah. Or maybe these two things. But like doing this to get to that, to get to that, basically every single time you're starting over or you're not, you're not great at it, you're never mm -hmm. going to get it, get to that gym. It's like that little, that common picture where it's like the guy digging and they turn around for the diamonds, the, the, mm -hmm. the gyms. Like that's what you're going to be doing to yourself every time, mm -hmm. every time, bro. So you got to just keep pushing forward and fail for with it a little bit maybe go down like oh it's popping and now it's down and it's dead and then figure out oh what's that thing that i can come back with but it's still staying in that same space but you just didn't really look under that box because you were are you were busy doing everything else that's where all that that's where that greatest moment and the, and, the, and those talent in those gyms stay is from observing the entire room it's like when you're looking for your keys and you walk around, you can't find your fucking keys, and then it's in that little place that's basically in the same room you looked at, but you didn't look yet, but until you were forced to look there after 30 minutes, and it's like, oh, shit, I never would have thought of this place. Mm. That's what happens with yourself creatively when you spend that time and don't jump from one thing to another. Right? Mm. Creativity is people get it flipped, and, and like they say, oh, going from one thing to another is creativity. Creativity, not necessarily. Uh, creativity un, 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 unleashed or or un, un or unhemmed is just it's just thoughts. It's, it's no different than what everybody else ha has. When you channel it, is when you start to get credit and, and some gem for it. So stay with the singing thing. Figure out how to different. Make that your thing. Like it, it can go from oh snap, you really get dope at singing for some reason. You super dope, or it can go from all the way to, you know, people think you're trash, but you find a way to flip you being trash at singing to become an actual thing. Or mm -hmm. somewhere in between where you just have an interesting voice and people like your voice, like you have to find what, what the gem of your singing is so you can exploit that, that part of it. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to the beats, why don't you figure out how to do the beat pad thing along with your singing or fitting, like spend time trying to integrate those as opposed to make those two separate videos. Mm, right? Okay. Maybe sometimes you just do just beats, but I would spend more time trying to do those things. If you're trying to push yourself as that artist, right? If you're just trying to become a producer, then, then do that. And I, it's not that you can't do both sides and show that mm. you have talent, but mm don't create content as if you're marketing yourself completely as like today I'm marketing myself as this today I'm marketing myself as that no. mm. like I'm this 
And sometimes I'm showing you these different, various different layers of my this. Oh.